what is going on, everybody? Getting ready to start teaching class in a bit. So something I wanted to answer, because a lot of people always ask, how do you balance the two with like weightlifting and, you know, jujitsu? And that's always going to be like the damn, giving enough time to jujitsu and then also making sure my workouts complement jujitsu. But then also I'm still trying to put muscle on. I just try to just do the best that I can. It just, I just love to train. I just love to just test myself. And that's really why I even started jujitsu. It was more so like I wanted to really, really just test myself because I came from just, hey, I'm just swole. I'm just jacked. I don't stretch. I don't do cardio. No mobility, no nothing. Let's just get it in. And I'm like, all right, I got to do better than that. So that's how kind of how jujitsu started for me was I really just wanted to challenge myself. The thing is just staying, just staying with it, staying active with it. That's just been a beauty of it. When I first started, man, it was difficult. It was really, really difficult. I had no cardio. I was just getting gassed immediately, getting tapped a bunch of times. And I'm like, all right, here's, here's, here's the decision. I can either quit, just forget about it. Never tell anybody even walk through the door or just keep coming up, just keep coming back and keep showing up. And that's pretty much what I did. I literally just was like, all right, this really sucks. This is killing my little ego here, but I think I'm going to stick with it. And that's just what I did. I was like, okay, I'm gonna kill this ego of mine and just be just a student. And I just kept on showing up, showing up, getting smashed, showing up, throwing up, showing up and then eventually there was a tipping point that did happen to where i started just to get better my body started to acclimate and then the rest is pretty much history but i always use that story because i was going to quit i was going to quit jujitsu i'm not doing this i'm swole why am i getting my ass kicked this isn't it and then, i don't know something just told me like, I don't know, just, I think you should just keep coming. Just keep showing up. Actually, it's, it was really more of a pride thing. Like, I can't go out like this. Right? I can't, nah, I can't go out like this. This isn't going to cut it. And once again, I just kept on showing up, showing up, showing up. And eventually, yeah, things started to change. You know, I just, I always had a love and interest for just martial arts, but my body started to love it, right? I wasn't like just dreading it. And then it just developed into a love. And then here we are now, going on 13 years, and still with it. And also accountability, like I always say, right? It's always that accountability aspect. I always try to always create scenarios where I can just work on being more accountable and just kind of just challenge myself and just build myself up. All these things that I'm doing, it was always at the, at the, the helm. What was at the helm was building myself up, building myself up. I want to build myself up, right? Training, working out, just building yourself up um, mentally and physically, building up financially, building your, your spirit up. That's what really I would say all of this content that I'm putting out is just building. You know, that's why I can post so much and I can post every day because and this is what I do every day to build myself up. I'm just constantly working on building myself up. So, all right, let's get to it.